Okay, well, this video has been created specially for the Lambert Investments uh, team and showing you your brand new website and how to edit the pages. Via email, I would have emailed you the link, which is lambertinvestments.com.au forward slash WP dash admin, as you see here. On that page would appear two fields for the username and password of which I've also emailed. So you just insert the right one for each field and press enter. When you do that, that then brings you to this dashboard. So the way that I normally like to add, edit the sites is I'll just remove the wp-admin and it then takes you back to the website. And you will see this black area here. This is uh, part of the dashboard in a more condensed version of which you can get to at any time. So if you want to make any edits on the home page that we see here, preferably just to leave the images and the posts there, it's more uh, making changes to the content. So you would click on to edit front page, which then takes you to the visual composer. And this is what the visual composer looks like within. And when you see this field here, all you need to do is just click on it and it brings up this pop-up window. And this is where you start to edit the content. So for example, we've got here financial planning with your goals in mind and we may make a change in place in, for example, Lambert Investments in Lambert Park Hill. We develop tailored plans, tailored plans for our clients to protect the things they care about the most. Your goals are our own. Your financial strategy, strategy should be too. And uh, I'll just place financial planning at the end here. So you just type in the extra words to make a hyperlink. You would just select the word, click on this icon which says insert edit link. And you may want that word to link to the uh, contact us page. So we would go to um, use that domain which is lambertinvestments.com.au forward slash contact. Uh, that's the words it's linked to and then open link in a new tab. Always select that because you you want to keep the client on the page and then open a, a tab when they click on the link. So that way then two tabs are open in their browser. You add link and then you'll see that the text becomes blue. Then you click on save and you scroll into up the top here and you will see update the blue button you click onto that and we just wait for that page to save now that it's saved I would go back up the top and just bring it back to the domain name so you can view the home page And we just scroll down and you will see the words financial planning that I've added and it's got a hyperlink as well. You can see how the hand forms over that. You just click on that and you'll find that it opens up a new tab that you can see up here. So you have the page we were on and the new page being the contact us page. So that's a great example on how easy it is to edit the content. I would go back into the home page again now and go back to that section 
as those words don't really need to be there. And I will do the same again. Just select the words, delete, save, and always remember to publish the page by clicking on the blue button on the far right, update. And that will scroll until it is saved. And as we scroll further down into the page, that would be the Our Services. So if you want to change the heading at all, you're welcome to change the special heading here. But I would leave it as um, Our Services, that's fine. And uh, the Portfolio Grid, we'll click onto that. And that shows the way it's been set up. I would just recommend leaving the details there so that doesn't get damaged. And that's all you need to know for the home page. We will now move, I'll just go back to the visual format of the home page. We'll go to the About Us section now. So the About Us page would be much the same with how you edit it. That's the layout there with the two sections. So all we do once again is go to Edit Page up the top. And you scroll down, you have the image on the left, the content on the right hand side, and also the rest of the content at the bottom here. Now, I will go to our mission statement. I'd like to make a change there. Uh, there's no need. It looks like it's set up as um, a head to tag, which is important, which is fine. So you can just scroll here and make whatever changes are necessary within the content. And again, you just go to the blue button, update and save, to save any changes you may have made. And we'll go to the advisor page. As the format of that is a bit different, So we'll go to our team, edit page, scroll down, and you will see each team member will have their own dialog box that can be edited. So let's uh, Let's take a look at Stephen Dean and just click onto the portrait. That brings up the pop-up box of uh, the team member. So general manager is set up as the title, the photo is here, and that's his profile description. So you just click onto that and make the changes when necessary. Then save. And once that's saved, again, you just go to the update button to publish it. And um, back up the top here to view the site in real time as the visitor would view it. And uh, what I'll show you now is how to add, it an, add an image into the media gallery. So... Uh, Let's say I'll go into services and the life and business insurance. No, that takes me to the services page here. I'll go to life insurance page. Okay, so page as it's set up with the content underneath and the concertina which is a little bit different. So again we go up the top to edit page and 
And we have the image up the top here. Oh, you click on the image or the content and it will bring up this uh, pop-up block that where everything sits within. So the image, which is of its own. Okay, so if you want to, say, add another image into this page, you would go to Add Media, and this takes you straight into the Media Gallery. And if I want to upload a file from my desktop, I just go to Select File, and it brings up what I have on my desktop, so I can pull in this screen grab, for example. I'll open that, and you can see it's loading. That's how easy it is to add an image into your media gallery. So we just wait a few moments until it's visible and there you have it. That's that image there. And if we wanted to add that image into the post, for example, I may well try a different one. I'll, do, I'll use this one and we go into Insert into page and you will find the image appears directly above that image there. So if you wanted to remove this, just press the cross button. But we want to remove the one we've just added in, so we remove that there. And save to save the image placement. Uh, life insurance content brings up the pop-up and the text block that you can make changes to there. All is good, so we'll just step out of that. And the accordion. So this is the accordion here. We just click onto that field. And to make any changes, you just go into, for example, key person insurance. You click on that. And then you can edit this form and element. And it's got a mention you may want to add more content into this field. And then from there, we just, let's say, uh, let's say I want to put a hyperlink into key person insurance. I'll click onto the chain icon and I'd like to use services. So if we go to services, another tab, I copy that URL at the top. I would go back to this tab, paste it into here, which is the financial services landing page showing all the services you offer. Click on open link in a new tab um, and add link. And I will leave this hyperlink in. So that's safe. So if you go back in there again, you will see I've saved it so the hyperlink is still there. Save and then save it in the bigger window and then you publish it by pressing the update button on the far right. And that's how easy it is to edit the content on your website. It's very intuitive and it's a very good uh, content management system. I feel that the rest of the pages are much the same. So you will see a similar layout on each page when you go to edit page. So the about us, the testimonials, the services, so all of those are much the same. And they would have their concertinas as well, or accordions I should say. These are information pages, they're quite easy. The news is the blog, contact and the calculators which would be a little bit different. Uh, they have been set up with iframes. So if you go into Budget Planner, for example, and you click on the Edit Page icon, these yeah, these are quite different. So it has a iframe field 
that's been uh, programmed and it's just made so it's very user friendly here and this is the code so there's nothing really that can be edited here whatsoever so all the calculators I would recommend just to leave them as they are uh, so none of the code is broken um, as for if anything is broken uh, I will need to pull my developer in to help to fix it if it's not an easy fix and um, naturally I will need to accommodate him to cover his expenses of that time but everything else yeah it's pretty easy and I will help to manage your news feeds your blogs so the blogs are set up it's very user friendly as well this is the landing page so it has each blog article has its own image there's a nice there's a nice little uh, thumbnail layout here the categories all of this assists with um, the SEO combinations I've added within your site the archive so the months will continue to automatically build up it has a little bit of an intro and the read more so we have here a list of four, four blogs and as they grow there should be numbers coming up here going one two three four and um, so when people want to read it they can even just click on the image and it takes them straight to the landing page of that blog where the rest of the story is and then it can be shared on any one of these social medias virally now these do not need to be linked up to your social media it's actually better that it's just left as they are so for example if I wanted to share it with my Facebook community I would just click on the Facebook icon and it would automatically take me to my Facebook that's always logged in and open to my community to share it instantly and um, a reply can be left by anybody on your site and naturally to approve any comments we would just go back into the dashboard and this would be the comments area here at the moment there are no comments but this is where you will have the ability to approve the comment or mark it as spam or trash it if it's irrelevant so that's how easy it is to be managed so I'll go back to the website as it was and there you have it, the brand new Lambert Investments website. It's a great example, well designed and enjoy managing it. Um, I will continue to work on the search engine optimization aspect of your site to give it um, great visibility on the internet. And that's something that we build up over time to gain really good authority because your niche market is one of the ones most heavily invested in by the banks and the other insurance companies so um, it will take some time to get good authority with it and uh, get you on page one for the keywords that we're targeting in due course as well thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it very helpful uh, to show you how easy it is to make the edits on your website